And welcome, welcome to the celebrated nightly news, news of Calaveras County. County. My name is John. I'm Kim. And we thank you for stopping by on our weekend entertainment, entertainment edition, edition where Kim gets to tell you what to do. And we get to entertain you, right? right? I get to tell you what to do. <laughs> no, I think we both do. See, and it's a welcome respite for me because that way she gets to tell other people Some, somebody other than, what to do. Other than just maybe me, somebody right? will listen. I say this every week. It's, right. You still don't listen. Well, it's nice. Kids don't listen. You don't listen. Dogs don't listen. Well, it's Nobody nice. Listens. At least somebody else is maybe <laughs> getting told besides me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Besides you. Right. So maybe they'll listen when we give our suggestions of what <laughs> to do this weekend in our lovely area up here in the motherlode. Yeah, I think yes. they will. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we hope you have had a good week, yes. and it is a uh, or a good day today on Thursday. It's been a busy one. He we are still. I, I did. I shaved the. He had his moving goatee this week. The moving goatee. Yes, yes, we're not. We're not even finished by any stretch of the imagination, are we? Maybe because the house we're moving into is not not finished. <laughs> that's probably. Oh the problem, right? well, that's well, no, that's, that's, that's a minor problem. You know, it's just, the house isn't finished. I mean, that's going to well, take a long time. I think our. This is better. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I like the paint color. You do? Yeah, I do. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, how about I mean, how do the little candles look? Can you see them tonight? Whoa! There we go. There There's we a candle. There's a candle yeah, in we the We kind of have the set kind yeah, of decorated have, a little yes, bit. Yes, if you can see All it, right. as we switch together. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we thank you for stopping by. A um, little bit of hard news stuff. Uh, we attended the um, planning commission meeting this morning. Yes. And the Murphy's Creek Estates was approved. That okay. is a new uh, on a. About five acres in Murphy's. They were talking yeah, where about. Where is that? I don't know where that's. Um, at. It's. I'll. Uh, we'll put the plot map up and stuff okay. there. But it's a smaller. It's a small subdivision in the Murphy's okay. area. Um, they're talking about. There's going to have some um, dedicated some walking trails, bike trails, that okay. type of stuff. Great. And also, a little more stuff at the planning uh, commission meeting this morning is. Bob Selman, the planning director, is will be retiring at the end of the year. So he will have one more meeting, December okay. 18th, that he will preside over, and then that will be it. And then so, they'll be looking for a new replacement? believe so. And this is, and it kind of segues into um, the next piece. And this is something that we've known about for two or three weeks. Well, and first, first we wanted to mention that we also have, we did video that we will, we are starting to video all the planning, planning commission, commission meetings. Planning commission meetings, correct. So we will have that up, up on the site as soon as we can. We are a little... Behind. We're kind of running behind this week. My stack of my stack of stuff because I've been moving couches and yes. that kind of stuff, right? So all right. Um, um, so we will have the planning commission meeting up later. We will. John wanted to talk about the layoffs. I believe the county layoffs. Oh, I didn't just want. Just hasn't been a happy thing to I talk about. I didn't want to talk about. We them. talked briefly, but everybody else I is know. talking about. So I guess we. So better. I guess we'll have to. This and is, this, this is, is on next week's board agenda. It is, and this is kind of what's happening is. They during the budgeting process they budgeted for an operating revenues for the building department of a million five. Not gonna happen. In the first in the first quarter, um, actual revenue received from the first quarter permit issuance came in at two hundred and fifty three thousand eight hundred and eighty three dollars. Wow. Suggest that the end of the fiscal year, less than eight hundred thousand will have been collected from building permit fees, or approximately fifty percent of the amount necessary to fund the current staffing level of the building department. When the county administrator's proposed budget was brought before the board, the CAO and the agency agreed that if an early fiscal year revenues were down from their projected, the agency may be required to lay off at least one FTE, full-time equivalent, full-time equivalent. Building inspector position based on projections for revenue collection, the building division agency is recommending a reduction of force of a total of eight positions. Wow. And this is something that we've seen because we talked so about is this. So is it going to be just mainly the building department that will there be layoffs or other departments? Are they this saying? is what they're going to be recommending. Okay. All right. Um, this is next week's Board of Supervisors agenda that we are looking at now. Right. Um, let's see. Reduction it will be a building inspector. Four building inspectors. Projected net savings of one hundred and twenty-four thousand five sixty-one. One code enforcement officer. A two permit te technicians. Half of an accounting technician. So I guess that means they'll go to part time. And a deputy director of building. They're going to leave vacant. So that will save sixty-three thousand there. So. 
Um, they're looking, and also this still won't fill the hole. So this is for sure budget. going to happen. Or this is just a proposal. Oh, it's a, it's a. I, I can't see how it's going to mm -hmm. be avoided. Um, because the the interesting thing is with the the revenue that's been coming, I mean the actual volume of permit volume, mm -hmm. the stuff that's been going through, is there's just there's, there's no just volume. No work, no yeah, work. there's no volume okay. there. Uh, they have a lot of stuff to do, but there's just no volume. Okay. Uh, and they're looking at total salary savings. They're going to leave the um, leave the CDA director position vacant after um, twelve thirty one. So they're not keeping the other gentleman that's been the interim director. Doesn't look that okay. way. Uh, the accounting, yeah. So they're Planner they're looking at about four hundred thirty-five thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars in savings. Um, they may, through some of the recommendations of uh, the CAO's office, of which they did in Solano County, where he came from, is maybe a super department. So they would put okay. environmental health, building, plannings, uh, that type of, under Brian Moss, okay. which would be. Which we there, so there would be a person that would be have some oversight over the departments, but it would not be a an additional cost. Okay. So, and Brian's highly regarded. Don't know, for example, all how this is going to shake out um, completely, week. but that is the. Um, so, will a decision be made next week, or is this just a proposal? It, I, I think it. Most part is just fiscally because some of these things are going to fiscal things are going to drive some of this stuff whether people want to do mm -hmm. it or not mm -hmm. and I think it, we're seeing this in, in in a weird way I know a lot of the stuff on the economy right now is just flat depressing the gas hey we saw gas, gas under two dollars a gallon here today here in locally. Lakeside the yes. right over there on the dollar, dollar what was it dollar ninety seven dollar ninety seven that, that's so a that good, that's a good note that's, that's a, not good a good thing. note yes but now you would think when, once gas starts dropping everything else might I mean everything else might start getting better. Right? It's got to help. It's got to help. We have a new president coming to office. And yeah, and so I think... Um, everything's going to change, right? <laughs> one would. <laughs> one would better. hope, yeah. One would go and go <laughs> forward and good. But I, some of the things that was natural corrections like this do create opportunities. Mm -hmm. So I think the, it's incumbent upon all of us to keep everybody's keep their heads yes, up, exactly. spirits up, charge forward, it's, find opportunities, go create them. Try not to let it get to you physically or mentally. Which I think I've, I've done both. Don't let the <laughs> I've turned into a little have a little screw loose, right? <laughs> that was my last pull. I took it down. Oh, that one had some pretty good. Uh, that yes, one had some that pretty good things. That actually had quite some humorous yes, ones that some were good on it. Comments. Some that funny was ones. Some, um, that was some pretty good stuff. Asking how the economy is affecting you. Is it affecting you mentally, physically, neither, or both? Right. Some some people had some comments on the old marinara. How that yeah, that would be so. It's a n it's natural, stress yeah, stress yes. free. Um, <laughs> as our son refers to it as marinara. Yes, which I, um, I hope he continues to recall it that. Now, do you now our poll now? People are a little confused by it. We were talking about the vote for the national Thanksgiving turkey, which the president will pardon. And you took this straight from the White House website. I got it website, straight from the, the White yeah. House website, word for word. You All know right. me, I'm so good at that copying, pasting, copying stuff. Copying and pasting, yes. Um, cast your vote for the national Thanksgiving. Turkey, which the president will pardon in a rose garden ceremony next week, which has been a tradition for many years, um, and they have some names here to choose from. They are popcorn and cranberry, yam and jam, dawn and early light, roost yam and, and jam. roost and run, pumpkin and pecan, and apple and cider. So those are the choices that the White House is giving. So I'm assuming that the turkeys or turkey will be named one of those. Right. Correct? So th I, I I thought it was a cute poll, and somebody and didn't understand it. Name the turkey John. They said, they, they said, what do you mean by this? What are you asking? So, somebody said. So it so. was an official White House poll. Official White House poll. I All thought right. it was kind of cute. I actually have the story of the, this year marks the 61st anniversary of the National Thanksgiving Turkey Presentation. With the first National Thanksgiving Turkey presented to President Harry Truman. So which happened in this, this current ceremony dates to 1947. So I have the story of the Thanksgiving turkey. And that was a pretty good sized turkey even yes, then. Yes, look huh? at that. Yes, so they have to name it and then it's pardoned. Uh huh. I think so. Exactly. And one little kind of thing was kind of a kudos little thing on uh, our site tonight. Was we posted something. Yes. The Sierra Nevada Logging Museum has a great they website. Have a beautiful website. John, John Hofstetter, does, Hofstetter does a great job mm -hmm. maintaining it. And we posted a link over to it and he sent uh, Kim an email today. Saying that they have what hundred and fifty some in a couple hours they had hundred and fifty seven hits track from referrals from us so yes 
Thank you for visiting. Yes, thank it. you nice very stuff. much. And we, we highly recommend taking a look at it since they are closed during the winter. Their website the has some virtual. lovely pictures. They actually have a story, some stories on it about um, some of the locals uh, that live from that are from White Pines and then Arnold area. Mm -hmm. um, so there's some interesting stuff on there. And it's the address, the web address is Sierra Logging, Sierra, what is it, John? Sierra Logging Museum dot org. Okay. okay. And also, it is. Can you believe it's only thirty four days till Christmas? I know. I'm not even near ready. Thirty four days till Christmas. It doesn't feel like it at all. It feels like summer was just here. It always does. It always sneaks up on you. The so grocery quickly. stores have their big Thanksgiving ads. Mm -hmm. uh, it's. Um, we just got the notice days. today that Christian Family Learning Center is getting ready for their next wonderful presentation, their Christmas presentation. Mm -hmm. They do every year their 18th annual Christmas musical. This year is going to be called A King is Coming to Town. And actually, they're going to have more dates um, scheduled this year. I think I believe they're going to have four days, doing, doing it for four days um, at the Bret Hart Theater. Let me see what the dates are on that. Um, Thursday the 11th of December. Mm -hmm. um, 1 p.m. Thursday the 11th at 7 p.m. Friday December 12th 1 p.m. Friday December 12th 7 p.m. Saturday December 13th at 1 p.m. So once you, wow, five show times. Those kids are going to be tired. Is that five? I don't know. And they we have be. the video of actually the last two years up on the PineTree.net of the shows that they did the last two years. One, two, three, four, five shows. Reservations are required. So. All right. Please call Anna at the CFLC school office for ticket information at 736-1175. Very nice. Um, and also, there was a traffic stop yes. that led to an arrest. And this wasn't is a, a good uh, traffic stop. Well, I mean, it depends on who's counting. Yeah, exactly. Right? Right. Right. <laughs> a person man is in custody after a sheriff's deputy found a substantial amount of methamphetamine in a car he was driving following a traffic stop. On November 19th, at approximately 10 p.m., Deputy Joe Crabtree and Deputy Tyler Houston were traveling eastbound on Highway 12 near Valley Springs. When a westbound vehicle passed them at a high rate of speed, the deputies turned around and attempted to catch the speeding vehicle. While the deputies were following the suspect, they observed the vehicle uh, to attempt to pass a motorcycle over a double yellow line. The deputies then initiated a traffic stop on Highway 12 near Burson Road. And the deputies contacted the driver and loan occupant, Eric Wormer, during the contact learned that was on probation for narcotics violations. A subsequent, um, during the subsequent search of the vehicle, um, Wormer was in possession of 21 ounces of methamphetamine. So, uh, had a, I guess that's a lot. I have no idea. What quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, pretty, quite a bit. Is methamphetamine in powder form or what? I don't even know, do you? I haven't been <laughs> following those. I'm just curious. Yeah, I mean, we could bring a graphic up if we want to see what <laughs> it was, know. but anyway. Um, so, yeah, so that was um, 21 ounces. Wow. 21 ounces. So we better talk about the weekend, John. There's a lot to do this weekend. There's already the Festival of Trees this weekend. I know, but we got one more little okay, thing. go ahead. We go got, ahead. I'm we sorry. Got our little, go ahead. We, tonight, our sponsor yes. for the news is Ace Home Center. Yes, Arnold Ace, Arnold Home, Ace Center. Home Center. And they have a beautiful um, Christmas Christmas store and also They do. Beautiful Christmas store. Stuff. Uh -huh. And Deanne was one of the managers there is that um, did a very nice little Christmas bow video. Yes, demonstration. That demonstration mm -hmm. that we're going to show you mm -hmm. and thank them for um, thank them for that and here, here we, we go. go. Hi, I'm Deanne Barkley. I work at Ace Home Center in Arnold, and I'm going to teach you how to make a bow today. We're going to pick out our ribbon. That's the first step you're going to do to make your bow. And the only supplies you need is a pair of scissors and some wire. And the first step you're going to do is put the ribbon in front of you. Okay, this is all shot. I shouldn't be talking. Okay, and you're going to make your first loop like this and pinch the center. The trick to making the bows is making sure you pinch the center of each turn. The second one's going to be a lot smaller. It's going to be your middle of your bow, like this piece right here on the finished product. And you twist and loop and pinch. Twist 
and loop. And pinch each one being a little bigger. Twist, loop, and pinch. And you can have as many loops as you want from 6 to 12 to make it as big as you want. Okay, twist, loop, How's it looking, John? Very nice. <laughs> and pinch, and then you're going to cut right here at the end. We have eight loops going here. Cut it. And this extra piece you cut for a tail if you choose to have one. These are called tails. Cut your wire. Something I failed to mention, you cannot let your fingers go. They have to stay with your ribbon or your whole bow will fall apart. The center of the hole goes the wire. Hold on, switch hands. And twist your wire. And the great thing about ribbon, wire ribbon, is you can shape it the way you want it to look. So I recommend wire ribbon. There we go. So come to our classes. There's going to be a schedule to all our classes on pinetree.net. Log on and you'll see the times and the dates. Thank you. And what do you think? Are you are you ready to go make I'm some bows? I'm ready to go make some ready to watch that video and learn how to make some bows. Very good. And she I looks like darling. I, think I could almost do it. You think you could do it? Really? Not you're, really. you're actually quite remember now we've said this before. <coughs> you used to make me wreaths and you haven't done that in quite some time. No, my, my basket making <laughs> yes. skills of I want some more wreaths, John. John under, is really good at making twig wreaths and manzanita wreaths. My underwater basket making yes. skills have diminished since yes. uh, now that we are we're in an unfinished house, I think the least I deserve is a big wreath to put on a wall. Okay. What do you think? All right. Okay. okay. All so right. thank you so much, Arnold Ace Home Center, for doing that for us. Definitely. And we still have up the um, Blooms and Things fall mm -hmm. decorating video if you want to learn how to make a centerpiece for your Thanksgiving table. That yep. is also up on, up on the website. And Deanne used to work for a really high-end florist over in the Bay Area okay. before she moved over here. Really? So that's where she learned. Wow, so she's good at it. So homes over there, I guess they did a service of this florist to where Let's let's say it's one of those homes over in Woodside mm -hmm. or something like that. They would go in and decorate it all for Christmas, and, they, oh, and the bet. people wouldn't even be home. Oh, so goodness. they'd go in and do all the bows and everything else. And Imagine that. Is somebody going to come do that for you? You know, I would, you I'd know. actually want to rather do it myself. Oh, okay. Anyway, I like, I, it's fun for me to do it. So all right. I wouldn't want somebody else to do it. But speaking of Christmas, tomorrow is the last day to order your Christmas wreaths for the, to help support the Bret Hart High School class of 2009. Orders are due by tomorrow. Please place your order with a Bret Hart Senior. Or we also have the following Grad Hart volunteers. We have their names, phone numbers, and email addresses on our website. And they will be delivered on December the 6th. Uh-huh. That's actually the one on there. Tomorrow. That is? Hey, wait a minute. Sorry, John. I was looking at... Are we having a buzz? Operation... Cri yes, we are. Okay. Operation Christmas Child Con Collection Week continues... Continues. ...through... Let me see, I have it on the front of the site. Um, where is it here? Go ahead, why don't you continue with Friday. All right. And, and Murphy's uh, Sons and Retirement yeah, Holiday Dinner and Dance is on for tomorrow night. And You know, that's that's actually wrong. That's I, actually I wrong, too. I think if you were actually uh, brought, uh, emailed, put that in themselves. Are they having karaoke still? That's I don't right. know about the karaoke. I'm, I'm assuming that they we'll are. Go to the, we'll go to karaoke, family okay. karaoke at yes. World Mercantile. And is, is the Warren Miller movie tomorrow night? It's tomorrow night in Angel's Camp. Yes, the first the first, first showing. Uh huh. Tomorrow night? Yes, tomorrow night. And also wow, the Operation, the Operation of Christmas Child ends to st the, for collection boxes ends on um, November 24th.
so we have information on that the, as to where to take your boxes. Okay. And yes, the first showing of the Warren Mill, 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 Miller film, um, what's it called? The Warren Miller film No, but it's is Winter, chil Children of Winter, right? The Children, Children of, of Winter. Winter. Yeah, this, this benefits evening. the AMA Snow Sports Foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay? The Children of Winter screenings be held on Angels Camp in Bear Valley. All proceeds from the screenings benefit AMA Snow Sports. The AMA Snow Sports Program was founded in 2007 to benefit mm -hmm. that up there. So, man, tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, Angels Camp, Bret Hart Theater, starting at what time? And the next showing will be heard in, held in the Bear, Bear Valley Lodge Thanksgiving weekend on November Friday, November 28th at 7 p.m. Tomorrow wow. evening is also at 7 p.m. So. so I guess we, we're going to go, right? Tomorrow evening? We're going we? to one. Well, Hannah's going to one tomorrow night. Oh, Hannah's going to this one and tomorrow night, to and we're one going to one in Bear Valley? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay. okay. And also going on tomorrow evening is Calaveras High School versus Escalon down in Escalon. Good luck, Redskins. Yes. Escalon is a big, fast, mm -hmm. tough team. We saw them earlier in the year, but the Redskins ones. can beat them. Ones, yes. You know, the Redskins, good the Redskins can beat them, so um, good luck. Yes. And uh, congratulations on another great season mm -hmm. and getting into the playoffs, so uh, go Skins. Yes. Yeah. And also going on tomorrow evening is the Blue, Pou Blue Mountain Ma Players presents Honestly Now at 8 p.m. And on Saturday, we have the Seroptimus Festival of Trees at Ironstone Vineyards. The begins. Festival of Trees yes. already? Man, and how did they Saturday sneak night up is the us. gala, the big gala, the black tie event at 7 p.m. at <laughs> Ironstone Vineyards. <laughs> and, and the trees will be on display from then until the end of the month. Everybody is just dressed mm -hmm. impeccably at this. We, we, I we have didn't to, have anything to wear. Last I have year, to be Last year, John went and I almost died because I, I waited in the car. Was that last year? <laughs> yes. He went and everybody's in their black tie and their formal oh. car went in in his shorts. Oh, you, I, think, I think it didn't used to be behind a potted plant, it was, you? It, That was the one time. Normally, I'm kind of a, you know, as many of you have seen me out of, it's kind of probably he's, he's casual. Kind of a rumpled reporter, because he's always in a hurry. As long as it's clean, <sighs> he puts it on, right? It's embarrassing. Yeah, that was one of the, I was. Even Marita Calloway agreed with me that, yeah. He needs to work on his yeah, wardrobe. That was one where I wasn't because everybody was out and dressed in the nines. And there's John hiding. He was hiding behind a potted plant. Isn't that what you said? I was hiding behind a tree. A tree. Oh, a tree. Yes. Ah, See, I okay. was hiding behind a tree. So this year, what are you going to do? We, we wouldn't even have anything to wear to something like that. I'm going to wear pants. You're going to wear pants? Yeah. No shorts this year. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work hard to actually wear pants. <laughs> Put clothing over my calves. <laughs> okay. you know, it's, it's you're, you're like a UPS driver year round. You got those shorts on. Okay, so that <laughs> begins this weekend. Well, some um, news. Calaveras Big Trees is news having. News requires you to be speedy. Yes, and so, so speedy means sp don't care what you look like in John's world. Anyway, oh. just kidding. Okay. Calaveras Big Trees Association Holiday Open House is this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. The 16th Annual Affordable Gifts of Art Show Open House is also on starts on Saturday and that goes through I believe the first part of Janu January mm -hmm. um, Big Tree State Park guided walks 1 p.m. on Saturday which they hold every Saturday Murphy's Hotel murder mystery at 5 p.m. and live music by Jeremy Norris band at the historic Hotel Leger the Leger yes Sunday the Seroptimus Festival of Trees continues which will again I will go on through November 30th. Mm -hmm. um, Operation Christmas Child continues, and I believe that's it for the weekend, John. Man, that's it. I think so. All right. And if I'm not missing anything, I now hope next I week is gonna, just going to be. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving full weekend, stuff. it's going to be all of a sudden all the craft fairs are coming. Oh yeah, it's just going to be stuff. All the fun stuff. All right. Yes. So let me see. Um, the COG is still looking for a transportation, let me see, the Calaveras Council of Governments for Calaveras County is currently having, has an, they still have an opening for the, uh, on the council for a public member. Your application is welcome. You can go to visit the COG website for more information or give them a jingle. Oh, that? wow. And just coming in, um, the Attorney General uh, McKaysey collapsed on stage while giving a speech in, dis in, uh, in D.C., and that's developing. So, um, wow. wow. Uh, um, oh, wow. Sorry. How, how old? Uh, well, we'll look on that, but I guess this is developing. Looks like Attorney let's, let's General... 
Attorney General Michael McKenzie, the no-nonsense former federal judge, took the reins, uh, collapsed during a speech Thursday night and lost consciousness. Uh, was rushed to uh, where his condition is not immediately known. Okay, that just came wow. out. Wow. Yeah, okay. so... Um, hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, in is the that Hillary right there? It is. It's what Hillary she has right there. Hairdo? Look at that. On track to nominate Hillary for Secretary of State. He's going to, you think. Looks huh? that way. Mm -hmm. um, and um, Associated Press to cut 10% of the workforce. Uh, Dow Jones shed another 400. It's its lowest level in 11 years. Wow. So there should be some good deals out there. Mm -hmm. Go buy some stuff, right? Oh, well, she looks good there. She looks like maybe she had a little bit of Botox. Look, you see those cheekbones? They're, look, they're looking a little plump. They are, so, oh, Hillary. okay. Yeah, look, see? Well, how about, how about Pelosi? Yeah, Pelosi's looking, she looks pretty. How about, and uh, Botox isn't, or who are you looking at, Angelina Jolie? How about Angelina Jolie? Well, I'm sure she's had some, too. All right. They've all had, I, I read in the dentist's office yesterday, when I, in the People magazine, that all of the women have had it. Even the women in their 30s have had it. Uh-huh. So. <laughs> And this is where technology can come back to bite you. A woman divorcing husband after glitch sent pictures of, I guess, her, well, I mean, you got to watch with these camera phones now. A woman is divorcing oh. a woman. Oh, okay. All right. A man's wife, Susan, consulted Apple after finding an image close of a husband. All right. Yeah, anyway, so you have to, it's because you want to, you know, it's, um, and Iran is now saying they have enough, uh, mm -hmm. enough scary. material for at least one atom bomb, so, uh, about Angelina Jolie. She had a contractual promise with Angela Jolie, for Time Inc., mm -hmm. for positive coverage. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So. Are we done? I guess we're done. We thank you very much. Come out and go have a fun Wonderful and exciting weekend. weekend and um, go play. And also, this is one of those things to where, and especially in an economy right now, Shop local. Shop local, yeah. buy stuff. If you go out to eat at a local restaurant, because in, a t in economies like this, mm -hmm. smaller businesses especially and everything else, is those the money that you spend here locally gets spent here. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of studies that show that about if you spend a dollar locally, mm -hmm. it circulates in the economy seven times. Wow. So, um, so for example, if you choose to advertise on the pine tree dot net, for example, for a Christmas holiday yes, promotion, which we have, we have Sunday ads. We, have we can guarantee that that yes. money most likely would be spent right here in yes. the county, right? And, and lots of people are looking. So yeah. There so you go. anyway, no, it's uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. And did we tell them? Did we tell them a little bit about our numbers for October? No, we have not. We did. One little thing no. is, I uh, kind of give a little update on how our our doing. day job. Because if you're watching this on Channel Seven. Um, are we had eight and a quarter million hits in October? Yes. A new high for us. Almost uh, five hundred thousand unique visitors. Yeah, I mean, it's yep, lots of visits, lots of hits. So it's we are kind getting, of a interesting. We are getting lots of readers and viewers. I think so. Yes, we are. Anyway, I don't know why, a, but we are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you very thank much you. for stopping by the news tonight, and have a great weekend. And we really appreciate you stopping by our site thank as well. You. And. See you Monday. Have a good night.